take just a minute to talk about our rock hunt. Um, that's one of the things I would really like you to do. Just because that's, uh, the next thing we're moving into is reviewing about rocks and minerals. And I think you could get out and look for some rocks and have some ideas. Keep up with the rocks you find. Don't just throw them back out after you take a picture of them. But notice it says in our rock hunt, we're going to look for unique rocks that we haven't seen before and see if you can figure out what it is and send me a picture of what you think it is. Then we can discuss if that indeed is what you found. And then on our webpage here, I've put a link to geology.com that hopefully will help you identify some of these rocks. Um, it has pictures of rocks that you might see every day commonly that might help you identify it, and then you can go into also finding out some other things, uh, such as if it's igneous metamorphic sedimentary. Um, don't be afraid to, to try to figure it out and, and tell me when you send me the rock what you think it is. Um, a lot of us are confused between if it's a mineral, you can see right here the mineral, versus if it's a rock. So if you think it might be a mineral, you can scroll over here and see. Um, but these are some of the things that you might actually find out in your yard. Obsidian would be really cool to be able to find one. I don't know if you will because they actually come out of volcanoes. But you might find some of them. It would be neat either way. So see what you can find. And then send me a picture of it on my email. Um, you'll see in our 6th grade Team 2 Facebook page. It's right here, HMS 6th grade Team 2. If your parents or you haven't already joined, feel free to, even if you're Team 3, because you can see uh, Branson, who is Team 3, submitted this rock. And he said he thought it was a type of crystal. And then down here we're discussing what kind of, what uh, kind of rock that we actually think it might be. So we'll join our discussion, see what you think after you look at it and looking at the geology.com. Um, then we have just, you know, down below it just to show you, Bailey submitted a possible earthquake resistant house. And we can start talking about it underneath it. So go ahead and join up. It's a closed group, so you don't have to worry about anybody outside of our group seeing what you posted. It's only us, our parents and us. Our parents are welcome to join in, too, and tell us what they think that they're seeing. So join in that. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. Bye.